So the question is, what is uh, the workflow when creating an AdWords report? So I want to take one step back and understand uh, reporting for AdWords in general. So before you create a report, you want to understand, um, ask the client, what do they care about? What do they want to know? If you're an agency or consultant, and if a client wants to know um, results based on sales, whatever it is that they ask for, then you go ahead and create a custom report to tell them exactly what they want to see in the most concise way. Now, sometimes uh, consultants, agencies would send reports over with clicks, impressions, quality score, position, the change over time. No one really cares about that. They're paying consultants, you're paying them to um, uh, get results. And, the result, and, and position and quality score and impression and clicks are not results. Results are tangible things the client cares about. If there's a specific reason they want to know any of these things, it's fair game. But uh, in, in uh, my experience, it rarely is. Um, they really want to know the main things, which move into the monitoring reports. And that's something we look at on a high level. Um, you want to know cost, where's your money going, conversions, what are the results, and what are you paying per conversion? What are you paying per result? Cost per sale, cost per lead. Um, sometimes if you have tracking through analytics, you can get the revenue uh, that you can track as well, and then also the profit. Now, if you're looking at this throughout the month, you usually do, you're looking at the actual where you are today versus the target. So if you're a quarter through the month, you kind of prorate your goals, uh, your target goals for cost, conversion, and cost, and revenue, all that stuff, and you compare it to where you are today. Looking at the variance between the two, you can say, I'm doing really well for this account, or I'm not. And based on that, you can take action. Um, there's always room to improve, but it's always good to know on a daily basis where all the accounts stand. So that's a report that uh, can be auto-generated through uh, the API, CRM, uh, an assistant, uh, to get that going. Then there are reports for optimization. And, ba and what we look in here, it's kind of reports, kind of uh, optimization process, and that is looking at cost allocation. Where is the cost going? Your 80-20 rule. Where are you putting most of the money? Is that the right ways to put place to put it? If you can control your costs and cut the waste, you can always spend it later. Uh, but if you go over and you spend the money and waste it, you can't take it back from Google. They won't give it to you. Uh, impression report. I also look at say I also look at where um, are most of my impressions coming from, right? What ad groups? And then I look at what is the account's average click-through rate, CTR. So the average click-through rate for an account is 2%. Okay. Um, I sort by impressions. You know, because impressions is a limited, scarce resource. There's only so many people searching for your products or services online. So you want to make sure that you use that scarce resource in the best way by showing them a good ad and getting the best click-through rate. Hope that made sense. So when you sort by impression, you're looking at which ad groups have a below average, below 2% click-through rate. And then you dig into those and start optimizing. Um, are the impressions relevant impressions? That takes into the SQR, search query report, search term report, uh, keyword report. And then you start digging into there. So it's actually that process, it, it's an evolution of seeing where to look, um, kind of playing detective and optimizing. The next thing you want to look at also is time on site. Always have your account linked to Google Analytics. Look at time on site. Look at what keywords are driving great time on site. Look for trends. Look for opportunities. Improve. Um, you can also take these reports and look at them over time. You can look at quality score over time. Uh, do a weighted. A lot of different things there. But I'm kind of starting to go into optimization process, which is not the question. So I will stop here. However, when looking at reports from AdWords, please, please, please don't just send canned reports to, to uh, executives that are just going to you know, glaze over them. Uh, just to show you're doing work. Results show that you're doing work. Um, but if there is a specific reason they want to see something, then go ahead and create it. Um, that's what I would do. So good luck.